and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the Gothic Fairies Special. It's the latest edition of the Colour in Heaven magazine and it contains 40 dark and mysterious beauties from Mika Jolina. Now I haven't got a clue whether I'm saying that name right so I do apologise if not um, but I'm going to call you Mika from now on and hopefully I've got it right. So as usual with Colour in Heaven we've got beautiful gold foiling to the title and the cover is completely matte for you to use coloured pencils if you wish to colour the cover. So the front is very sort of typical line work, black and white, and then you turn to the back and you can see it goes really, really dark. So that gives you a bit of an insight into the illustrations in this edition because a lot of them are very dark like this and some of them are standard line work that we're kind of used to. So you'll see as I go through what I mean by that. So we open the book and we have the introduction from Mika or about Mika and then the colour combination chart for you to record all of your different colours. So it says here that Mika was born in North Carolina and she's a world renowned fey and fantasy artist. So her paintings are e easily recognised as eclectic glossy eyed beauties poised in intricate scenes of gothic and classical adornment. Her art draws from the delicate relationship between light and darkness and adorns a whole host of products from statues and skateboards to perfume and pillows. So lots of variation there. Very much reminds me of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, just reading that introduction there. So you can see that we go straight into the first illustration. We've got a girl sat here, she's a winged girl and she is writing in her diary, she's listening to her music device, very sort of pop punk teenage type feel I get from this one and every single illustration is signed, uh, printed by Mika there as well. So usually with Colour in Heaven we get a name for the illustration or a bit of background about it and on this one we have names so this girl here is Amelia let's turn around and have a look so you can see what I mean by the very dark sort of illustrations as well as the normal standard line art so a bit of a different colouring experience maybe than you than you're used to but I think it will turn out beautifully when colour is added just to the the small amount of spaces where you can add colour if that makes sense I think they'll really pop more um, with there being a lot of shade and shadow on there so very sort of vampiric creepy gothic look to that illustration turn the book back round we have Angelina so angel, angel wings, very feathery, fluffy. She's got a halo on top, but she's also got a little bit of a rough, rough side as well. She's got her uh, her big boots on there, like kind of Doc Martin boots and her dog tags and things like that. So I really, really like that illustration. We have Ariel. So again, these girls are looking very sort of teenage um, in their style. This is amazing, this hair here. It's like ringlets that are actually not attached to her head. It was very, very odd illustration um, with, with the hair anyway. I think probably she's got these bunched up into pigtails, maybe. That's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, lovely illustrations. Astrid, so we're going into space now. She's got this beautiful costume, very sort of metallic looking, this neck cuff here and her bubble gun, very fun. I can see rainbow hair on that, would be awesome. This is Cassandra. So again, this is a book for someone who really likes to colour people or wants to practise hair and skin because there's an awful lot of that. This illustration is called Charmed. So we've got um, the puppets on a string and uh, what we've got, a box of dreams down here. Looks a little bit witchcrafty, bit potion. Um, lovely costume though I'm loving the hats and the wings as well they look very sort of metallic now we've got cloudburst which has a steampunk theme to it you can see with the cogs either side and the very sort of pipes and metal kind of um, costume that she's wearing she's also got dreadlocks and that glasses those glasses that steampunk um, people always wear steampunk people <laughs> um, you know what I mean you know what I mean right this is uh, Dahlia or Dahlia and this is the one that I've coloured as you can see and she's a day of the dead makeup wearing girl I mean you, I could have done her whole skin grey but I wanted to uh, highlight the difference between the face full of makeup and you know the human element to it so I wasn't trying to make her any kind of weird creature I just wanted it to look like a girl in costume which hopefully it does 
um, and I coloured this with Arteza pencils, so really pleased with how that's turned out. Here we've got another really dark one, this is called Decibel, and she looks like a music kind of girl, obviously being called Decibel, and then she's got her, um, her music um, earphones on, sorry, and there's a an aerial here so she's picking up a signal also her glasses have um, music bars in them what you would see on an old stereo or hi-fi and she is in the rain but the rain looks like kind of matrix numbers it's a very interesting one that one we have digit I'm not going to explain all of these because I know that a lot of you sort of want me to get on with the review and not explain every single page because you can see it for yourself so here we've got ditto and Emily, we're back to basic line art. Emily 2, <laughs> same character. Fiona, ringlet hair, good practice. More dreadlocks on glitch. So there's a very futuristic vibe that I'm getting from Mika's illustrations. We've got Gracie, beautiful um, butterfly wings there. Gwyneth. Hayley and Megan, Jenny, love this one actually, it reminds me of kind of Coraline with the buttons for the eyes, Jules Verne, love it, so Jules Verne obviously around the world in 80 days but they've spelt it Jules, so she's kind of the female interpretation of that character, very steampunk, absolutely adore that one, Juxtapose, Katie, Loving these shoes. Look, the buckles go all the way up her calves. We've got Kitty. Layla. Lillian. Lucy. Megan. So we've got another Megan, but spelt slightly differently. This one's Michaela. Another one that goes... Um, this way round on the landscape view. So we've got those buttons for eyes dolls again. Beautiful big drapes, a night sky in the background. So I'm really interested to know whether um, you like these kind of illustrations that are very, very heavy on, on the black. Do let me know in the comments what you think. This is Melita and Morgan. This kind of reminds me of that um, art deco look with the panels. We've got Paige, she sat inside the moon, what looks like the moon. Phoebe, very Grecian this one. Phoebe too. And Samara, loving that kind of skirt behind her there. Sienna and Celeste, so these are the kind of creepy looking twins. Sugar. So this is set in a little sugar sweets factory. Loving the porthole behind looking out onto the uh, onto the night sky there. It's as if she's in a spaceship full of sweets. How amazing. Tawny. So she has antlers coming out of her head. We've got a snake coming down. She's got um, either boots. Well, they look like boots to me, um, but it could also be her actual feet, um, like a centaur almost. This is Temple, and finally Vivian. So there are all of the illustrations from this month's edition. If you wanna know how you can grab a copy of this beautiful artwork from a supremely talented artist, do look in the description below for the links to buy this. If you're in the UK, you can pop out to your local supermarket uh, as from tomorrow, because it comes out tomorrow, the 23rd of January and you can find this in your supermarket or newsagent. If you live further afield, anywhere across the world, have a look in the description for those links and you can get yourself a copy delivered to your place, wherever you are. So please let me know what you thought of this uh, edition. I really hope you enjoyed it. I haven't seen any artwork by Mika before, so I was pleasantly surprised. Um, very kind of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Hannah Lynn feel to it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.